This morning we're talking with Andre Dress, uh, NASA GOES Deputy Project Manager. Good morning, Andre. Good morning. So the GOES satellites are an invaluable tool in tracking hurricanes and severe storms. Can you tell us more about this mission and the new GOES satellite you just recently launched? Sure, these are the, the nation's satellites and uh, the GOES mission is really a joint effort between NASA, NOAA and its contractors to, to build, launch and uh, put these satellites into operation. Uh, what you're seeing here was the launch of the GOES-14 satellite. Um, NOAA likes to employ two satellites to cover the Western Hemisphere. Um, they orbit at the Earth at about 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. And uh, they provide continuous products, um, uh, one right after another, and those, those images are used to string together to provide a movie video. Uh, we did launch the GOES-14 satellite, as I just said, and uh, we're very excited about that one. Uh, it's our best satellite yet, and we're anxious to put it into uh, operation. So we've just passed the peak of this year's hurricane season. What has GOES been able to show us so far, and are there any new storms to keep our eyes on? Well, um, NASA and NOAA have been predicting, I'll say, a average to really below average hurricane season this year, and that's really what we're seeing right now. Uh, in the Pacific region, it's a little more active. In the Atlantic region, uh, we did have one nice sizable hurricane, uh, which was uh, Hurricane Bill, which are, these images are. And you're really seeing the, uh, the power of the GOES spacecraft and actually in combination with other spacecrafts to uh, take a good look into the insides of these storms and the makeup and to really see how they form. And, and uh, these satellites really have the ability to track these uh, hurricanes and, and predict where they will hit landfall. So these satellites uh, bring us incredible pictures every single day. Why is it so important to have these daily images? Well, if you think about it, the, uh, the GOES satellite is, uh, is orbiting at about 22,000 miles above the surface, and that's what we call a geosynchronous orbit. Um, from that perspective, we really have the ability to take the same images over the Earth. Uh, it's like staring, standing there and staring straight at the Earth and seeing the same spot on the Earth all the time. So we can really take those images, string them together, and really have the ability to track storms. Uh, the images you just saw there were, uh, you know, movie loops of, from taking image after image, frame after frame, uh, contiguous, and these images are provided to the uh, American public in real time. Uh, most of the American public really doesn't know, but they see these images every day when they actually go home, turn on the TV, and uh, watch the uh, weather forecast they're coming from the GOES satellite. So the GOES satellites have been in use since 1975. What do you still hope to learn with the new satellite you just launched? Uh, well, you know, in the past 30 plus years, we really have made uh, great strides, leaps and bounds. If you take a look at this image right here, um, you'll see the image bouncing around a little bit. Uh, that's primarily from this, the spacecraft moving. Those images were from the, the late 60s. Contrast that with what we're seeing today with these satellites. Uh, we have the ability to take uh, frame after frame, and what you're seeing here is not just seconds worth of data, but uh, hours, days, weeks, months, all put together to string to really make a, a nice picture here of uh, what the Earth is really showing us. Uh, it's really a beautiful image, really it kind of shows how alive the Earth is. So where can we go to learn more about hurricanes and the GOES mission? Well, it's all really at your fingertips on the internet. Uh, the best place to go is uh, to your favorite search engine and, and search out GOES, but uh, you can go right to these websites, www.hurricanes.gov or www.nasa.gov slash hurricane. Great, thank you, Andre. You're welcome.